Hello YouTube and welcome to Angerixon Gaming. Today we're taking a look at Uther Lightbringer, the character from the Warcraft world. And uh, this particular character is actually a Paladin, so this is a healer with really high defensive capabilities. I'm going to show you what this character plays like, and this is a melee support type. So let's go ahead and start this game. Alright, so this is what he looks like. He's basically a short-ish Paladin, and um, let's go through the talents and also through some of the abilities that he has. You start with something called Holy Light, basically this is your main healing skill that you use on your friends, and it heals them um, for about, I would say, one-fifth of their health bar. Um, then there is something called Holy Radiance, which basically heals allies and yourself in a line. So this is actually a really useful heal, because it, oh, it also damages enemies for about half of that. Now this is a very useful ability as long as you can position yourself properly, so usually um, if you are positioned right behind your allies and you're continuously using W, Holy Radiance, you will be able to be very successful, very effective. Um, then we have something called Hammer of Justice and this is actually um, an ability that stuns one enemy and damages them a little bit as well, but it has a one second stun which actually is a really really effective stun when you think about it, as long as it's used correctly. Alright, where did this guy go? I can't do this alone. Alright, so let's attack Rainer. Let's stun him. And then as he starts riding away, we're going to use... Oh, I didn't da damage him enough. Okay, so let's stun this guy if we can. Oh, he ran away. He ran away. He ran away. Okay. Let's try this again. I'm gonna stand in the shadow here. And as soon as they get here, I'll, I'll try to stun them. And then your first talent that you can choose are, there's four choices here. One uh, gives you more mana regeneration. This is something I do like to take because for this particular character, for this particular hero, mana is a problem. Um, so this is actually kind of recommended. Then there's um, this here that increases the uh, distance of your heal. I think it's not very bad. It's not that useful, to be honest. Uh, Okay, that's good. Let's heal up. Run away, heal up. And stun this guy again. And let's heal this person. No, you uh, missed. It's actually quite difficult to uh, position yourself just in the right way to heal uh, your friends with this W ability. Um, then there's this here, Dance um, Weight Stone, which basically increases damage of this, the stun. It's not it's not super useful, but if you want to increase damage, I mean, if you want to increase your DPS, you may want to take it. Um, and finally, you have Blast Champion, which basically, what it does is, uh, every time you hit someone with your basic attack, um, it actually heals your allies. So it's actually kind of useful, but it only heals them for about 25% of your damage. And unless you focus on DPS, it's not going to be that much. So I'm actually going to take mana regeneration because mana is a, a problem with this guy. Uh, then for the next ability, uh, you have four more choices. This here gives an allied hero a shield for five seconds. This right here uh, refunds some of your mana if you use, what is it called? If you use holy light, which is the healing, but only on minions. Uh, not on your allies, but on your minions. So it's not as useful, I think, because you're not going to be healing minions that much. Um, the uh, Fist of Justice, oh sorry, uh, yeah, Fist of Justice um, decreases the cooldown of your your hammer, your, your stun uh, skill. And then... And then finally, Hammer of Lightbringer um, is a very useful ability because I'm, I'm actually going to take this. For every basic attack, you actually recover 5 mana. So it's a way for you to get some mana back. Because mana, like I said, is a bit of a problem if you heal a lot. And when you die, which is what I did right now, you turn into a ghost that can actually attack people and heal allies for 10 seconds. Um, so even in ghost form, you can still kind of kind of effective. You can finish up enemies and you can do some uh, extra damage and extra healing. Um, so dying here as this character is not a bad thing. Um, our at level seven, we get five more choices. This here removes any kind of crowd control, including stuns and roots. This here clairvoyance uh, reveals some area for ten seconds, uh, area that you don't see. Basically, a ray of uh, that's covered by fog of war. 
Um, Holy Devotion uh, increases your effectiveness when you die in your spirit form. So basically, you become a little bit more effective when after you die, uh, giving you a little bit more damage, a little bit more healing cap capabilities. Oh no, go away. Leave me alone. Uh, this here rebuke not only stuns my enemies, but when I use my Hammer of Justice, it also uh, knocks them back a little bit. Uh, so if you want to have a knockback ability, this is the one to have. Oh no, I missed. And finally, Wave of Light uh, reduces the um, Holy Radiance's mana caused by returning some mana when I cast it on someone. And also at the same time, um, it also ha uh, has reduced uh, slow, uh, sorry, uh, cooldown effect. So here, I'm going to take this just because it's a little bit more useful. So now, every time I cast this, it, re uh, re it actually returns some of the mana. Um, okay, uh, now on my heroic ability, I have two choices here. None of them are really that great, to be honest, but they do have some uh, heroic capabilities, I guess. Uh, so, a Divine Storm here deals a little bit of damage and stuns one enemy for 1.5 seconds, so it's another stun that you can have, and this is something that I do like to take, even if I play as a healer. Oh no, I killed her. And I got all her gold. Ah, why didn't she return the gold, silly goose? So Divine Storm is actually quite useful if you want to have more crowd control. And then Divine Shield, it actually gives your ally 20% uh, more movement speed and also um, invulnerability for 3 seconds. So it's actually a pretty useful um, protection skill for your allies. Because what it does is basically... Uh, why are you moving so much? I was trying to heal you, Mofo. Um, basically, it, uh, it kind of shields your LA for 3 seconds. So I'm actually gonna take this, because I do, uh, as, long, as much as I do like to crowd control people, I also like to help people. Um, so I'm gonna be a more helpful character this time. Okay, let's wait for someone to get here, so we can take the care of these guys together. We are blessed. And there we go, I just made myself invulnerable for 3 seconds. And I'm going to run away from these guys and heal up. So basically this is a pretty powerful ability uh, to use on yourself or on others. Uh, and essentially something that you may consider taking if you play more defensively. Alright, that guy's dead. And let's try to get throw. And at level... 13 you can choose four more things this here gives you an aoe damage around you uh, this is something that many characters actually get uh, but basically a, uh, an area around you everyone who stands in there will get some damage if you want to increase your dps maybe take this this protects you from uh, ability damage this is also generic ability and basically oh, let's help this guy uh, what this does is if you take ability damage, it actually reduces the ability damage that you take, so it kind of protects you a little bit. Um, then Sprint gives you 75% more movement speed for, I think, it's 3 seconds, and finally Shrink Ray. Um, anyway, I ended up dying, but here Shrink Ray, what it does is actually debuffs one of the enemy heroes by giving them 50% less damage and also 50% less movement speed for 4 seconds. So it's actually a pretty powerful ability, um, but you know what? Uh, not just ability, but crowd control ability, but uh, taking any of these is actually quite beneficial. Uh, this will give you more speed, this will give you less uh, ability damage f uh, when taken from other enemies, and this will give you AoE attack. So I'm gonna actually take Shrink Ray, and this will give me a little bit more, a little bit more attack. At level 16 you get 4 more choices, one of them is called Imposing Presence, which uh, reduces the enemy attack speed when they attack you. Um, Holy Shock. Uh, basically turns your healing Holy Light into also an attack skill, but only at 50% damage. It's not really that useful, to be honest. Um, Gathering Radiance increases damage by 10% for each enemy that it hits, so basically this uh, makes it a little bit more powerful as an AoE attack, so it's actually a little bit more useful than this. And finally, Hardened Focus, uh, what we, this is actually super useful, at least that's what I think. As long as you have over 80% uh, life, it reduces your ability cooldown, so check this out. I have no gold. Oh, I died, that's right. Um, so now my cooldowns are basically twice as fast because I have over 80% life, so... Let's see how this goes. And this enemy is there. Let's go and try to attack them. 
So I'm going to debuff one of the enemies, like this lady right here. I'm going to also stun her. And kill her. There we go. So that's basically how you can also become a DPS class, even though you're mostly a healer. But because of your CCs and because of other um, really awesome abilities that this character has, uh, it's actually a very versatile uh, hybrid type of uh, defensive fighter or warrior. So it's not just support, but he also does have some relatively nice DPS and relatively nice abilities to basically stand in the fight and not worry about enemies too much. Uh oh. Except for in this case when I actually did not have any cooldowns up. That's because my life is actually below uh, the required 80%. So let's heal up. And let's kill that monster thingy. We are blessed. Alright, so there we go. So my cooldowns will now be a lot faster and I can start using my super skills, including my bubble. Heal this guy. Heal him some more. And let's go ahead and start attacking. Uh, why does she have 11 gold? Some people really like to collect gold and not return it to the pirate for some reason. I don't know, really know why. Okay, so last uh, 20, uh, level 20, you get two upgrades. One is for your um, stun, which basically gives it a little bit more radius and uh, reduces cooldown by 20 seconds. This one here is for my uh, divine shield, and what it does is makes it one second longer, and if I cast it on someone else, it also uh, makes a copy on me, so it's actually super useful now. And storm shield gives all allies 20% um, maximum health boost for 3 seconds. So I'm going to take this, obviously, because it will now make my um, Divine Shield really, really powerful, because if I cast it on someone else, we both get it and we become invulnerable for 3 seconds, and can also attack enemies as well. Alright, so we're getting close to defeating these guys, and as you can see, it's actually relatively easy to play as this guy and not die. Uh, but dying is not a problem, because you actually still maintain your, um, your form, and you actually get to, get to have... Um, a little bit more, like 10 seconds more of gameplay and using your abilities and basically attacking or healing people around you. Okay, let's go ahead and try to destroy their keep and not die in the process. Stun this guy. Attack him again. Missed. Um, take some health here. Okay, so I'm going to debuff Sonya, and she turns really small, and we can start attacking her. And there you go. Oh no, oh no, there's two of them, there's two of them. Run away, run away, run away, run away. Sonya, get away. Okay, so let's wait for our heal to come back, and we can do this. And this. And invulnerability! Yeah, yeah there we go. And two heroes down, and third one. Oh, come on, come back here. I'm gonna stun you. There we go. Three heroes down. Heal this guy. And basically, as long as you know what you're doing, as long as you're not too bad of a healer, you can actually have some fun with this character. Um, his abilities are pretty awesome. His healing is relatively strong. And he does get uh, relatively good DPS. So it's not a true healer. It's more of a um, hybrid support, but definitely fun to play. Anyway, this has been Antirix Zone with Uther Lightbringer from Warcraft and Heroes of the Storm. Thank you for watching, please subscribe, check out some of the other videos that, about other heroes from this game, and game you later. Bye-bye.